What's up, everybody? Stop that! Stop it! Cut it out! Why don't you just do it? No, go ahead. It's your show. All right. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Peach Basement. Danny's back from his comic book death. <laughs> Jenny joins us with the black frame glasses. Remember, I told you that's part of the top five. Top five? You don't know about the top five? No. The top five is top is five things any woman can do, no matter how attractive or troglodyte she already is, BFG. to make herself exponentially more attractive. Yay, I win. Black rim glasses is number five. Number four is girls in hats. Number three is girls with guitars. Number two is girls who can fight. And number one is girls who drive stick shift. Shut up, Ramon. That's a car oh, reference. Oh, what kind of hats? Well, no, uh, baseball, baseball hats, hats with the pony. For the most no, part. no, baseball hat with the pony. I don't look good in hats, so that's outright. I do know how to drive a stick. Ooh. I do know how Shut to fight. Shut up, Ramon. <laughs> I do know how to fight. And what was the other one? Girls with guitars. Oh, guitar. Oh, I play guitar yeah, too. And drums. Four out of five. All right. Before we get to uh, War of the Green Lanterns and FF, we got some questions to answer. And the first question comes from Eric Sanchez, and it is for the Thor guy, Ramon. Uh, where did Thor leave off before Marvel brought him back and went back to one? Uh, I've been reading a lot of Thor lately, and I was wondering if there's anything worth checking out in trade. Thor died. Yes, actually, Thor, that was the Ragnarok story, which yeah, I read. That's, that's that what great? happened. Yeah, it was great. It was part of um, Avengers Disassembled, mm -hmm. which everything went to shit, part of the Scarlet Witch and everything like that. And Thor became Odin. He got a full Odin force behind him, and he allowed Ragnarok to happen and no rebirth, at least until number one came around, in wow. which case, you know. Uh, can you recommend, Eric, any cool, like, Thor trades? I didn't read Thor too much. This is actually a question for my buddy Vinny, who was really into that, Thor. That, um, I don't really do Thor trades. But, um, one great Thor book, which isn't really even Thor in it, is Asgardian Wars. Okay. X-Men, Loki. That's great. That's fantastic. It's not easy to find. Wait, no, it's re-released actually recently, so it is easy to find now after I fucking eBayed it. I don't know but if I'm they have better. a trade of it, but it's, uh, it would be in... Like the later 300s when Eric Masterson first became Thor, yeah. but it wasn't Thunderstrike yet, it was still no. Thor. He had that fucking and mask going for him. Yeah, and he yeah. had to find Thor, and yeah. Thor was like locked in his own consciousness yeah. or some shit, and it was all Loki behind it and everything. Of course. That was a cool set of stories, but I don't know if it's in trade yet. He had yet. the mask and the beard? Was that the same? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that was, that was yeah. the one. Yeah. So, wait, so his whole entire comic book history, that's not like a trade? No, there's lots of trades. When it sticks out well, your mind that you could like recommend? Most of them have to do with the creators, like Walt Sim. Walt Simonson. Yeah, him. Yeah. He's epic Thor um, artist, so that's a famous trait of um, collection of him. But um, I never really collected. My, I just collected Thor. My um, shining period. Thor moment still goes back to Atlantis Attacks, which okay. actually now the, the omnibus, the, tra oh. the big trade is out now yeah. in hardcover on Amazon. It's like fifty bucks or something like that. Oh yeah. Uh, and hey, Eric's last question was, uh, you know, off subject. Do you think the Spider-Man that Gregory Stark created will have anything to do with the death of Ultimate Spider-Man? Hope not. Um, that, that's a pretty obscure reference. We yes. haven't really heard too much about that weirdo Spidey that's kind of sitting in the basement. Is he like a carnage? Is he a doppelganger? What the fuck is he? Anyway? Ultimate Comics is great, but there's a lot of weird loose ends. Like, yeah. actually, Ultimate X comes out next week. What the hell is Ultimate X? Number exactly. three? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What has that been, like seven months easily since the last one? Easily. Easy fucking lead. Yeah, number four. Like that was the one. That was the one X book that was really good. good. And that's the yeah, one that fuck they dropped the ball on. Of course. Didn't they find that gargoyle guy or something like that? And that was the end of it, right? Or the Archangel? I don't even remember. Okay, yeah, yeah, it's like Archangel. the Archangel. I don't remember. Uh, Dexter Martin and JP Perone actually had kind of like the same questions: as what's with all you know the resurgence of number ones and his comics really stuck in like rejuvenation hell? Uh, yes, yes, all nine levels of it. It's been well. Number ones are important because you need new audiences. Yeah. You need to refresh shit. But nowadays, it is a fucking hell because done, being done poorly is necessary because the previous reincarnations suck. Like when Grant Morrison redid the X Men. Oh, God. The X Men, that shit. That yeah, was yeah. balls. Ooh, when Jim that, Lee did it with Chris Claremont, it was like, fucking it was awesome. Fucking awesome. Yeah. No. Why why don't they just take Grant Morrison out back and shoot him in the back of the head? He, he has a very well written contract. He's <laughs> got a there, lot actually. of ridiculous followers. Well, like, so, so, what's at part the same of time, you don't need all these new number ones. You don't like why so not just continue, continue with the, the fucking story you're already but, doing? Especially since you know that years later down the line they're just gonna add up the numbers again. Like you did like last did time, right? Like, they, they would, uh, like Marvel's been doing. Yeah, they, they're gonna do it again. That's that, that's really like what kind of struck me as so odd is that they're starting with Daredevil number one all over again 
and they just got finished having the whole big anniversary and going back yeah. to the original numbering. Numbers. So what, like less over. than a year yeah. ago or something? And the same thing with Cap. Cap just went number 50 something or number right. 50. They mm -hmm. jumped it up to like 300 or some shit. Or whatever. Was it? 500. No, he's 615. Cap was 600. Oh, oh, 600. Yeah, 600. Yeah, 600, yeah. yeah. So, and, and they did the same thing with Wonder Woman mm -hmm. when they brought it back. So they, they're going to do it again. They're going to resell these people at number one. Just and the, a lot of those, like, not for nothing, Marvel kind of cheated to get to. Like, Cap was, you know, it was Captain America. Four. It was uh, Tales of Suspense. Oh. Journey to Mystery started at 83. Yes. That's yeah. so cheating. Yeah, the first appearance yeah. of Thor. The only one that really... Journey's coming back. I know. I, I saw and that. And Thor's going to get a number one. Yeah, I know. Don't say it. Don't the say only I one that I ever too. saw that really earned Spidey. it. Yeah, Spike. Yeah, but that was cheating too, my guys. Because they came out with a lot of, you know, there was a lot of bi-monthly segments there. Wasn't it a trimonthly? There was three at a time at one point, but it was still the, the same title. The amount, if I they would have counted understand. all the fucking Spidey books, they'd got to be on like ten thousand. Because there's spectacular web of there's yeah. Peter Parker, there's yeah, fucking yeah, Ingrid, sort of the Spider Man. Friendly Neighborhood. <laughs> Friendly <laughs> Neighborhood. Yeah. That lasted what, about Ooh, three Marvel years? Good, yeah. Marvel Knights. Yeah. Yeah. Was, that was a cool 12 issue maxi yeah. series. I'm glad I don't series. read Spider Man. Yeah, I'm glad so. I tried. But hopefully, I like this. I used to too. Anything we can do like to suggest that getting out of this rejuvenation hell is just fucking. I don't, how hard is it to write a good story? I don't know. I've written a few good fucking fan fictions in my time that I kept to myself because that's really geeky. Yeah. Um, I still want to see Galactus go after Oa. Yeah, that would be I've cool. been thinking about this since last week. Yeah. Stop. <laughs> you woke up thinking Anthony about Aiken's it? got another cool geek question. We'll get to that at the end of yeah, the show. We'll, yeah. wrap, we'll wrap, wrap up with that. Um, Miguel Olivia, Oliva, oh, Oliva? Hmm. Fuck, I hope I said that right. Oliva. One of those has got to be right, Miguel. I'm sorry. Uh... You guys still working on an app? Roger? Yes. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> um, and Michael and Sharon Moore wanted to know, uh, I addressed this in more depth on the website, is any line being held at two ninety nine dollars if you're required to buy more than one title to get the full story? Like, you know, okay, I understand that... Like the, the main book is only two ninety nine, and yeah, you they're, they're still milking you for more money. Which and that's, is, yeah. comics is a business just like any other, so they they're gonna rape you. They yeah. just that's what they have to do. I mean, at least DC is almost all, almost all two ninety nine. Yeah, Marvel's like fuck you. Marvel's all over the place. Three ninety nine, and that's Joey Q. Next week, Captain America's four ninety nine because it's seventy year anniversary. Uh huh. Five fucking bucks for a fucking white boy in his fucking shield. <laughs> the man's name is Captain. America. America. Yeah, he's been around for 70 years. What the fuck is that to pay $40 all of a sudden for? Respect. Uh, no, no, that's, that's because wait, of Hollywood. You po pocket. Oh. Really? Ah, you yeah. suck. Fucking Mets fans. Good thing you stuck with karate and not basketball. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Anyway, uh, Ken Jenkins was bringing up a couple of these uh, new mm. Marvel movies and everything coming out. and basically, Don't you even think about no. it. <laughs> no. No. Uh, the X-Men universe is pretty much screwed in movie continuity. Oh, God, yes. Yeah, that even goes without saying. Any fan of mm. even the movies knows that they started in modern times, and now they're taking X-Men, uh, Xavier and Magneto, back to where they're supposed to be yeah. in the 50s and 60s. So how that's going to work out is anyone's and, and guess. And stepping on all their own continuity yeah. that they, they already said. Like, forward. Sony's just... Pissing on everything. They're like, we just didn't want to give up the contract. Well, well Fox. That's what it Fox is. is the, Fox, Fox I'm sorry. X-Men. Fox owns X-Men. I get confused. Yeah, but Sony was Spider-Man, yeah, right? Sony was Spider-Man. You're right. Sony was Spider-Man. He knows everything. Man. He He's got do a not fucking speak of this. memory like a death trap. It's crazy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the Avengers movies show promise. Uh, that means once it's in, it don't go out. <clears throat> I have the memory of a dead horse. Which is to say, no, but not if, a if it went in and not out, wouldn't no, no, you assume no. leave it's alone. still in there? And I have it's a memory. A I no, have the memory of a goldfish. Do you know where you are right now? Yeah, but do you. I'm mm -hmm. surrounded by books. But do you remember that you have the memory of a goldfish? Swords. Oh my god, this is, this is a rape dungeon, isn't it? Yes. Rapunzel. <laughs> <laughs> you shall be our squishy, and we will call you squishy, <laughs> and you will be ours. <laughs> I'm afraid. Anyway, uh, the Avengers yeah, movies right. show promise, and the Avengers movies show promise because Marvel is taking care of their own shit now. They're tired of fucking Sony and Fox and every other company ruining their movies. And then some. And then some. Yeah. I mean, Daredevil. Horrible. Ghost Rider. Horrible. Horrible. They call this cage. Ah! Yeah, but you know what? And, and if you want to look at it, Marvel's track record, their worst movies all comes from Fox Studios. Yeah. 
But all, ever since they picked up their own mantle, they've, they've been doing, doing shit yeah, right. Doing she, she getting angry. You need to like, change uh, something. Ken also says the Spider-Man movie looks to be following in the Dark Knight's trail of like kind of a darker story. I don't know what um, he's referring to. Yeah. I, I don't know too much about the new Spider-Man movies, so I'm not... The costume looks nice. It, the, the costume Does it take cool. place at costume, night? Costume... The, well, the, if he's got sneakers it, on. I hope yeah, yeah. like they give yeah. him some boots. Yeah. Like but, I mean, Photoshop the motherfucker in. Do what sneakers? you gotta do. It well, like, got, like, I'm mouse? assuming it's just so the actor's comfortable. Yeah, they're not yeah. actually showing him from his feet. No, but then if you look but at the first official post, post, like the first official photo that they put out of him, like crotch down, he still has the sneakers on. That's so, that. Somebody missed that in the editing room. I so, think. I think he's still gonna keep them. But the suit looks similar to the uh, House of M Spider-Man costume. If you look back at the House of M Spidey, the suit looks very similar. I gotta. I gotta. Maybe he has feet problems. And and but the movie I don't know where about getting dark or anything. Maybe the movie's gonna be probably a little more closer to the source material. I, would, thing, I don't, I don't think I'd mind it so much if they really stuck to like the Ultimate Spider-Man storyline. Let's yeah. say I don't. I think I'd probably really bite on that. It, I, I'd see Ultimate, Ultimate Spider-Man mo uh, movie script. Yeah, all, Ultimate, Ultimate Spider-Man is a was, was a great universe. book. Yeah, yeah. Like that was the first Ultimate shit that I really started out with. The so. first collected volume should be just be a movie. Yeah. I just don't like that they're coming out with it this soon. This after. soon, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah well, part three yeah. really blew fucking it ghosts. Did, but, it was a couple know, of years ago now. Yeah. It, ghosts. Yeah, but what, well, ghosts. What, what it is yeah. that Spider Man was 4 was already set and scheduled yeah. to come out, yeah. and Spider Man 4 went but, to hell, so they already had the scheduling, they already had the sit set, so they have to do yeah. a Spider Man movie. They got to, so they, they did. How, it. how fast was it for them to redo Hulk? Like, that's Six months ago. Well, that's because the original one sucked. Yeah, that shit was garbage. Sorry, Angry, garbage. but... It's... Yeah, I mean, yeah. like, the whole comic book panel thing was really nifty for, like, the first ten minutes. Yeah. And after an hour and a half, you're like, cut it the fuck yeah. out. It destroyed my DVD player. Shit. Yeah. It did it? Yeah, like, that's... it just turned off and broke. That's hysterical. <laughs> it, the DVD player knew better. What is this? No, no, Ken's basic question <laughs> is, like, you know, like, more, like, a lot of Hollywood shit, especially Disney, has a very... Um, hoarding control over what yeah. goes on with their shit, and since Marvel is technically their shit now, you know it kind of explains why they're doing it right. But they're also, you know, kind of making it their own in the sense that they're controlling what's going on with the story. They're trying to ch yeah. stay as true as possible, but you know things are subject to change. So does that mean like all of the other stuff that's going to come out, like Walking Dead and all of the indie titles, there they may stay more true to, like you know, their comic well, book. Walking movies. Dead was um, slightly off from the. Was a little off from the comments. I never <coughs> read enough Walking Dead to it's really. It's fucking depressing. It's always reading really volume big. eight. You got it. Yeah, one through eight. Long? Okay, I gotta go to storage and pick them up. Yeah, it's cool. Um, oh my god, you will want to fucking slit your wrist. You could like mm -hmm. find out one day you have Ebola. Read Walking Dead and you'll feel fucking better. <laughs> oh, wow. Cause shit is just like what the fuck by the end of every volume. Ebola. It's Ebola. Did you watch the show? I yeah, the I show. enjoyed the show. Oh, I was gonna it's, say. It's, I was gonna ask you since you read the book, yeah. how does it's good. it? It's good. It's funny. You, you've seen the show, right? Yeah, yeah. It's a happy fucking fest compared to the books. Really? Wow. Yeah. But oh I don't my think God. they could have hit yeah. you too depressing right away in a TV show because nobody yeah, liked no. it. Yeah, the fact that it's done in black and white too. Yeah. Have you heard? Chew, Showtime, half an hour comedy show. Where? Really? Where? Where? Uh, it's in production. Yeah, I heard that too. Yeah. What's up with the Goon movie? Speaking of like uh, indie shit. Yep. That would have been cool. Is it a done? I think the Goon should have been animated, personally. It, 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 was, it, it, it was animated. Exactly. Maybe that's what's taking us along. Maybe. The, like the, the, was it a done, though? It was, maybe it was the show clip that was done. It was very well done, that show clip. Man, right, let's get done. Get done. Come on, Eric, let's go. All right. Speaking of get it done. Uh, oh, gosh, yeah. <laughs> War of the Green Lanterns, parts one and two, both came out this week. Yay. I liked it. It was good. I know Captain Sweatpants is probably crying right now when I say it, but fucking, I, I like Jeff Johns' writing on Green Lantern. I know he takes a while, and he tends to be a little long-winded. Yeah, this but, is a bit long-winded. Yeah, but at the same time, he, he's not that verbose. It's not like every fucking panel is covered up in 17 word balloons and everything. So, yeah, okay, I don't mind ta you taking the time with the story. I admit, like, you know, if this was... 10, 20 years ago, you could definitely have done this story in a year, yeah. without a doubt. The entire fucking, from Blackest Night all the way to war, and been done with it. Because nowadays we waste a lot more time telling, you know, what does this person think, what does that person think about everything. Yeah. And that's exactly what I was complaining about stupid. with Infestation. It's stupid. It is stupid. Now, question. Mm. A lot of times, I've never been a big Green Lantern fan or space stuff, because I look at covers like this, and I get intimidated. It's busy? Yeah. Too busy. Yeah. Yeah. And it's yeah. like... Is, is this something that uh, somebody who could jump onto and really enjoy it? Now, and yes. Not, and For yeah. this particular story, now is the about, time. But, now, but what about in general? Like, do they mention a lot of backstory, Green Lantern stuff that you needed to be a fan to? Uh, really no, I don't know. Because there's, there's, there's a lot of stuff. There's the entities. Yeah. 
You Those may need ships. to have Wikipedia open at the same right. time you're I'll reading this shit. I'll just say I haven't read Green Lantern in a long time, and I was able to read these and just jump right back jump in. Jump right on. They kind of yeah. like they'll but throw you a I sentence or two. I wouldn't say if you were a complete Green Lantern virgin, jump, you know, just yeah. jump in. Don't break your show. Yeah. But with the movie coming out soon, and this this storyline is still going to continue over into the movie. Yeah. But you know what? At the same fans, time, I'm not them jumping on. Well, I'm not seeing. Honestly, that. what I see you're is not it? no. I see. I see the comic book industry is going to parallel the movies yeah. by creating new storylines that are just going to be more new friendly. Like people who want to jump on so jump both, on. So, so basically but both something like you could this, jump on to. Yeah, but I, I would say you would have to know a little, a little bit, bit about the background. Yeah. But it gives you enough of, like, it gives you a sentence or two, like, they'll call Krona the Mad Guardian or the original Guardian. Yeah. And he was the guy yeah. that the created the manhunt yeah. that turned the manhunters against everyone. Mm-hmm. And then somebody will turn around and say, Oh, atrocities! You realize that it's Corona's fault. All your people are dead. You you can kind of get the gist of shit. Yeah, yeah. That's they, true. They yeah, throw some true. exposition in there. Yeah. yeah, without having to go into some you know long-winded explanation right. of shit. Because th- that's one of the reasons I never got into like space things. Because like a lot of times they have such that's a that's how I feel. That's how I feel. Mm-hmm. So Just so much going into. on. Yeah. Who who conquered who? Yeah, and who, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's I, a I agree. big problem that Marvel I agree. has. Like I, I, fu- agree. I missed Annihilation Wave, which I'm still fucking kicking myself for. But they constantly reference it, and I'm just like. You know, there's a little birdie running around, yeah. around my head. Yeah, like, that was what the, first the fuck? Time just, yeah. Um, but I'm not seeing Jeff Johns really reflecting uh, the movie, the oncoming movie, as much as like Marvel's doing with Thor yeah, and yeah. Captain America. Yeah. Jeff Johns, and I gotta give him credit for this. He's just doing his own thing. Like this is my story. Yeah, fuck yeah, the fuck movie. Like would, Captain America, yeah. they're bringing Steve Rogers back. Thor, they're just fucking puking everything yeah, Thor yeah. at you. Thor. <laughs> Thank you, Steve, for that lovely. But I, I kind of like that. I like that they, they're not putting too much of the oh, whole. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that they're not doing too much about with the movie. Yeah, no, it's absolutely because it yeah. makes. I mean, it but makes he, it feel like it's its own thing. Yeah. yeah so. And, and it I, still keeps it so like what he was saying before, one of the questions like, yeah, all these movies coming out, we don't change comic books. Right. So, yeah, and I in a way it might it, it will might change but it. I hope it doesn't. Spider Man had organic web us. shooters for a time. Yeah. And That's it changed. Thank God they got rid of that. Yeah, all suck. the new fans and new generations that get into these characters through mm-hmm. the TVs, the mm-hmm. movies and the video games mm-hmm. don't they know that story. So is it bad that comics too, reflect yeah. it? Mm-hmm. Not so much, Not but so. when it comes to shit like the organic web yeah. shooters, no. No. That's bad. When it comes to shit like Grant Morrison yeah. changing the X-Men's costume so they look like the fucking yeah. did in the movies, the, the, not too no, much. The, yeah. source, yeah. the source should never change anything to make it closer to the movies. The right. movies should just do shit to try to make it as close to the source. Yes. Yes. And the source should just look at the fucking comic book writers like Neo and be like, we don't need you! And yeah. that's it. That's why I'm not happy about Wonder Woman's costume that they released. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. How do it you feel about Wonder Woman? Wonder Woman? Uh, I know, I know. You guys talked about this last week, and I but feel now like you're we're another kind of Wonder a dead Woman. Horse. Like now, I, I'm like, I am Wonder Woman. I am Wonder Woman. But anyway, no, I feel like it's too much like this new costume. And, and honestly, if you guys out there, anybody out there who's reading the book right now, it's, it's not going to stay. It's obviously not going to stay unless they. Maybe make it like, well, she's going to change in and out of whatever costume she wants to at any given time. How often do new costumes really stay? They don't. And that's the thing. Like, I mean, look at Spider-Man in the black costume. That's the only one that's that's honestly withstood the test of time. Yeah, and but he's not in it anymore. So, yeah. yeah. It's the only one that makes a resurgence every now and then. Every now and then. And that's why I'm, I'm just, I'm afraid of, like, kids growing up with these new horrible costumes and whatever storylines that, that should just not exist mm-hmm. and not understanding like where it all actually came from like how we understand yeah. right. where where they actually came from so that's I hope that the well, comic book these days ain't got shit like super well, friends and spider-man is amazing it's, friends either it's so fucking... true like I, I feel like every young person that I encounter these days like not a lot of them know what Spider-Man is, or well, they what go by Green the, Lantern is, except for what they see on television. They go by the or movies. The movies. Yes. They go by the movies. They don't yeah. understand yeah. that these characters have been developed over some over 70, 80 years now. And right, they just think it's movie. They yeah. probably think it's the opposite that the movie right. came out yeah. first, and then they go, oh, exactly. they, they have Spider-Man. Hey, it's a comic book. Yeah. yeah. So. And that's a goddamn shame. It, yeah. is. it is. It really it is. is. Batman Streets of Gotham. Oh. <laughs> Final confrontation with Hush. Uh, I didn't read this, but it looked kind of cool. Uh, it's the last one in the story arc. Which Hush, I think now it's finally removed from the Batman universe he, for a while. He's been Hush. I mean, he's been Hush. He's been Bruce Wayne. impersonating him for 20 years. Since he disappeared. Right? Yeah. Something since like that. Final yeah. Crisis. Yeah. Since, yes, it's a death of Batman. He took over Bruce Wayne's spot. But didn't the Streets of Gotham start that way? 
With no. Ash. We didn't? No. I thought it did. I think, it, I think you're right, actually. Wait, no. no. I think it did start, because three, didn't Streets of Gotham start after R.I.P. when, when they relaunched all the other Yeah, Gotham I think books? it did. It did? Yeah, yeah. With, with Gotham City Sirens, New Batman uh-huh. and Robin, Streets of Gotham all started after R.I.P. And he was, like, trying to impersonate he was his imper- Batman. He was yeah. as Bruce Wayne. Yeah. So that, that gave no and now anybody in, this... in Gotham now questioning where Bruce Wayne is while right. Batman is dead. It was hushed the whole time. Right. But now he got that face removed from Jane Doe. Of this was the girl Dickens. that was, like, impersonating yeah, all the other villains, villains and shit. Yeah. She right. takes your face. She'll, she'll study you for months, weeks. Get your routine, learn your mannerisms and all that shit. Then she'll take your face and impersonate you. So, so she, she wanted to take the Bruce face, Wayne's face off. off. Yeah. No his face off. No more drugs yes. for that man. Yes. <laughs> but she wanted to basically impersonate Bruce Wayne. Why wouldn't you, motherfucker? Is Bruce Wayne? He's rich, and, uh, bitch. But then Batman comes and saves the day, but too late because Jane Doe already had took the Bruce Wayne face off of Thomas Elliot. So mm. now he's wrapped back up again and uh, traditional. So he'll bandages. be hush again. So he'll be hush again soon. Cool. He'll, and I agree with Ramon where he probably disappeared for a while. We need to keep all these faces. And to answer your question, um, the closet. there's no good way Final Crisis could have ended at all. Except like maybe a happy ending. Like, you know, they fuck up Dark Side, then that's it. No, I no, think. No, no, no. You know how it could have ended? Killing Grant Morrison before the storyline was over. Ever and it started. It, it, it should have ended with a big, epic, like cosmic type of battle with New Genesis getting involved. I mean, they killed Orion, so maybe the, what's his name, the All-Father? The All-Father could have fucked the dark side's ass. The, the gods should have gotten involved and just killed each other and just... Some you know shit. what? I would have liked an ending, and this goes for any forthcoming event, you know, going forward, an ending that does not lead to another fucking event. <laughs> How about just a goddamn ending? That's all. Yeah. I mean, I the ending of Final Crisis, was Batman's t- was, dead, and was, okay, now we got some new shit It was to on. be continued. It wasn't an it's ending. always yeah. to be continued. I just, and that's their big fucking secret. You know, it's not even a secret. Yeah, I just saw, secret. like, when when I I didn't read the whole thing, guys. Just so you know, I just you, I just it's a wise choice. No, I just I just got the synopsis from from my husband, and he unfortunately read it because he needs to know some of the backstory to stuff that's going on right now. Poor guy. And yeah, I know he he wants to gouge his eyes out for it. Damn. But um, no, I just I feel like when at one point there came there came a point where the editors were all sitting around and saying to themselves, how um. Guys, how are we gonna end this? We've we're, we've gone too deep. We've gone too deep. Ah! And then they had a panic attack and exploded. And then Grant Morrison's like, "I know how I'm gonna end this. I'm gonna screw it up." Anyway, that's, that's just how this is how I see it. It's terrible. I'm pretty I know. sure it was kind of something but, to the effect of like, like you know, like you said, they're all around the boardroom and. Dan Didio's like, I've got a really shitty idea. And Grant Morrison from the background was like, and I can make it shittier. Yeah, basically. But, you know, I, I don't know if anybody watches Smallville out there, but um, I feel like they're going to parallel the whole, the oh, whole final crisis. thing. Not. It oh, looks like no. they're going there, but what I feel is happening is actually they're making it better than what it is because they, they took hard. a lot I, well <laughs> they're taking a lot of the similar steps and like the tone of final crisis but they're executing it rather well in my opinion again not everybody might agree with me but i am a smallville fan i am a superman fan a and fan. i i got a little superman i'm very upset that up. the next episode is not airing until april 15th they never put batman in smallville nope. no but no they but they recently. mentioned him recently so they said um chloe, did. chloe said that she went and she's been chloe. you know yeah, don't, don't we? She's been. She said that she's been because she she kind of took over Checkmate. Yeah. And um, she's now like Checkmate is a good she's entity. Like officially it's officially official. Watchtower. Yeah, or yeah. She officially made it Watchtower no, Enterprises or some junk. She's still in Smallville. Well, she's like the Oracle without being the Oracle. Yeah, they're, they're oh, pushing yeah. a lot. Yeah. Well. Super speeds back and forth. Yeah. Okay. Wow. But I it, can almost accept don't that. even get me started no, on the Chibre. geography of Smallville because it's it makes no sense. Then it's not Smallville anymore. <laughs> How is Metropolis? Then it's not Smallville anymore. It's I don't watch. Basically, basically, yeah, but that's. That's why, now. Yeah, that's why it's it's ending. Up. You know, it's the last yeah, season. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I mean, you know. It's the final season. He ain't got the costume yet, right? What I think is after the, the show. Oh, he he has some horrible off, shit now. It's yeah. Like, it's, yeah, 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 he got the costume. He has some red leather jacket. And yeah, it's, it's terrible. terrible. And, and he slicks his hair back. Yeah. So it's like some super like boy Kali shit. Like for a while. For a while, he was like all emo and shit. All black. Black trench coat. He's the blur. Is it going to end with him getting, like, becoming fully fledged? Yeah, they're definitely the whole. Gonna end it. The whole gonna theme, end it. the whole theme of the show is. Big psych. 
Yeah, um, Superman. Goodbye. That's there's it. it's it's no flight, no suit. Like basically, if he doesn't fly, he has no suit. Yeah. He can't fly yet. So he's trying to find. He's trying to figure Eli out thing. how he's you know to, to balance how to balance himself to be able to like to be able to do everything that Superman is supposed to. Yeah, he finally got the how many seasons? Nine seasons? Ten. Ten seasons to get the Clark Kent glasses. What the fuck has he been doing this whole time? Chug. Chug. Dude, let me tell you. Yes, yes, let's move on. Our director's gonna kill us. So, Batman, Batman Dark, Dark Knight 2. Finally, so fucking, fucking three and a half months later, like, holy David fucking Finch, you're late, dude. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, really? oh, okay. Is he doing anything else at the no, moment? He's no, he's doing a lot of covers. Yeah, he's doing covers, but, yeah. like, you know, what are you doing? You know, I guess it's kind of hard that you're writing it and you're drawing it at the same time, and you want it to be exactly how you want it, and when it's your own like that. You know, yeah, no, it's, it's not, there's no such thing it's as Kevin Smith, a, unless it's Kevin Smith. Like, it hasn't oh, been I don't know, Dale from Pitt. That was horrible. Yeah. Dale Keown? Yeah, yeah, he was... Yeah. I mean, this is a good story, and I, yeah. it's just kind of like, yeah. I forgot what the fuck happened in the first one. It's been so long. Yeah, we mentioned it earlier. Croc, <laughs> a cool, a good Croc issue, it, yeah. but, not, but not a good issue if it came out three months later after the first one. It'd be real nice if this could get on a good track. Yeah. It's good, it does good dialogue. Yeah, right? everything good. The exchanges the only, between the characters. The only bad thing about this comic is the way Penguin looks, right? Looks? Yeah. yeah. That I like Penguin's how, look. I like how he was breaking his arms and his legs. He was, he was yeah, being tough, being a tough ass. But everything else just was good. I think just the, the, the scheduling, uh, the lateness of it. The yep. lateness of the release and the way Penguin looks is the only downfall of this book. I think other than that, it's pretty cool. So Dark Knight 3 will be out in November. Yeah, yeah. right? Uh, yeah, no, it be out in time for the next Batman movie. Right. <laughs> 2000. Close out with DC. I would just like to say that Reign of Doomsday is currently going through a lot of different DC titles. Which it's like sucks. Steel. I'm not uh, into that. Justice League. It's ending with Action Comics 900, which I will be getting because it's, it's 900. number 900. So I'd actually kind of like to get the, the pieces of this story. If anybody is reading Reign of Doomsday and it's good, uh, kindly hit us up, let us know. You know the drill. Face, uh, Facebook us or questions at peachbasement.com. Just title the shit Doomsday. And let us know what you think of it because I haven't picked up any of the pieces of this. But this I'm going to try and go back and get it. Just be like, what, 10 so you, so you don't even know what this is about? I didn't get that, dude. That's all him. Well, you know what this is about? No, because this is like the third one. Is I was there, the third one you still don't know what it's about. I don't know. I, I didn't pick up the first suit. Doomsday oh, was... Because it, the first one was in Steel. The second shit was in uh, uh, some other book. Outsiders. I hate when Outsiders. Outsiders. I hate when they do that shit either. That's corny. They the fucking Galactus right Storm all over again. The other big event of the week was uh, FF issue one. Nice. There was like six different covers to this. This was honestly the best one. the best one. Uh, this was the... Uh, so the blank I don't remember who this one was. This might have been Jerry Javik. I'm not sure. Uh... There was another one that was really lame, and it was another one that was like fifty five dollars with a different Damn. SF font on top. Ooh. Like uh, fucking two FF letters is worth fucking forty eight bucks. <laughs> Fuck yourself, Marvel. How about that? Yeah. Um, Fuck I could have honestly done without the book. I didn't give a shit I, about it. I liked it. it. I mean, I it, was, it was cool. It was yeah. all right. I, it was I didn't cool. care. I like it's a nice progression of yeah. the fucking team. I think First was, of all, can I say I one? was weary about what it was going to be about, so I think the fact that it wasn't like horrible. I like the inclusion of Dr. Doom in yeah, the Freedom the Foundation. Spoiler alert. Yes. Spoiler alert. Well, fucking late. <laughs> um, I thought it was a little fucking stupid that Franklin's got to get a dick in his fucking face about Spidey trying to sit, sit in his down, uncle's yeah, chair. Yeah. Yeah, I like, don't sit there. That's Uncle Johnny's seat. Well, Uncle Johnny's fucking dead, you little cunt. Especially since he had no, like, he, he was so cool with him in the preview. Right. Issue, when they were going to eat hot dogs yeah. and shit. But I like the fact the thing was, like, he's... He, he's, he's, like, really mourning. Yeah, he's that fucking was, going through what, the that's, whole that's, denial, that's anger, you know, seven cool. steps type of thing. There was this one panel that's not really important, but to me, I found it really cool where Reed Richards is looking out a window and you see the people taking down the Fantastic Four sign off the yeah. wall. Yeah, that was cool. It's like a really small panel. With yeah, no, I caught that. that. That's, that's cool. very powerful stuff right there. It's like, wow, they're taking down yeah. the Fantastic Four. And you see the other yeah. guy holding the new logo. Uh, until next year. Down the wall. Yeah. Until next year. And then when we yeah, until, yeah, right. But we were, me and Danny were talking about what we doing next. Yeah. Captain America. That AIM is like all of a sudden. Yeah, yeah. Well, everywhere. AIM is yeah. everywhere now. Are they bringing Johnny back from the dead? Who knows? Not, no time soon, it. apparently. Well, they'll do it eventually. They're proving he's dead. Yeah, That's... there was never no body. You right. never saw what happened. And you only seen a nihilist hold up the, the shirt. shirt. Yeah. So. Yeah. Mm. He's missing in the negative. Captain America 615.1. I think Booker uh, yeah, yeah, I agree. It's really good. This is a good one-shot book. They're definitely trying to throw Steve Rogers back into the suit in time for the movie. Yeah. Hiding in yeah, they but the way they're doing it is pretty cool. Like yeah. especially the last page when he's talking to the replacement, and right. the replacement is basically kind of giving him the same exact speech that Steve Rogers gave Bucky and who will we? Somebody's got to like do if it. You don't want, somebody's if you don't do want it. me to do it, then you yeah, better. You got to do it. Right. Somebody's yeah. got to wear it. That was freaking awesome. awesome. Shit like that was awesome. 
And everybody, I don't know if any of you have noticed, he's wearing the helmet that from is. the movie yep. with the wings painted yeah. on mm -hmm. instead of just protruding out. That's kind of cool. Mighty sneaky. <laughs> Not for Danny. Honestly, I thought it was a really good book. I think yeah, what they'll too. probably do is take Bucky out of uh, circulation for a little while, let him rot in a Russian gulag for a little bit. I think he might Maybe they'll have his, like a Bucky type of uniform. Yeah. I would be. Maybe I would not be Avenger. opposed to a Bucky book. Like I would probably yeah. buy yeah. like a check out series like or that. something. Yeah, we spoke about that. His history. He's Definitely a, a Winter he, Soldier book. Yeah, for sure. Um, it can be. It can be. He's a good guy. This time, if you get like no, if you no, get I like a history of Avenger or something, and you take like seriously historical fucking assassinations, and you put the Winter Soldier behind it. What if the Winter Soldier assassinated JFK? Yeah. Or what if he fucking the comedian did that? Well, yes, the comedian did do that. But you know, like shit like that. What are you saying? Which comedian? Like, like put them in into real actual. I'm not a history buff, so I don't. Yeah. Like, like Forrest Gump and all that shit. Put them somewhere. Fake, like putting them in real events, somehow making it that he influenced those real events. Somehow. Right. Like Forrest Gump. That'd be cool. Yeah, that's what's like. Forrest Gump. You could have a mini series where he breaks out of the gulag. Fine, but whatever. Um, this one fucking pissed me off. Thor 620.1 one one shot. That was bad. You know what the fucking shit is? The point ones are supposed to be a jump on point. Thor was There's in no the middle of a point. fucking story arc and they just stopped the shit for a point one. Like, what the fuck? Now they're all having parties, having beer and pizza? It would have been fine for a separate thing. Yeah, if they finished the fucking stupid-ass lame story arc where Odin gets killed by these assholes from space, the fuck? Oh, Maybe because they didn't want to... What happened is they're fucking late on the shipping, they and that's why this shit come out now. Maybe they realized that story was so bad, they're like, yeah, let's... That story out. was fucking yeah, retarded. Really bad. Yeah, but then they got the audacity to fucking show Thor climbing your Dragzilla at the fucking end of the book, and he's like, okay, we'll go back to the other story that sucked, but we're going to finish it anyway. Anyway, we've had all that sense. No, was, that was like one, what? one on sentence. <laughs> 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 fucking stupid. Okay, okay. I'm not gonna throw your book. Don't worry. No, I wait, breathe. Uh, Daredevil Reborn was actually cool. Yes. Still think it's a little too early for the whole Reborn thing. Well, I don't know how they. Spoiler alert. I mean, he gets bucked right in the fucking head at point falls, blank range, and hundred your feet. Like, how's he gonna get out of that? This is gonna be like like. Into what is poorly shit. drawn. Looks like a river. It's pretty piss poorly yeah. drawn. Yeah, it is. Should be head first into the river. I don't They're care. They're gonna do some shit where he fucking heard the motherfucker pulling the trigger and he moved. Yeah, I mean, they, they, saw the blood. they showed the blood. Yeah, well, if you got hit in the fucking head and it grazed a little bit, you bleed. Yeah, wrestlers bleed. cut themselves. Yeah, it yeah, it bleeds a lot, but it's more cuts. I just kidding. That was a fucking good book. I thought it ended a little suddenly. I didn't read that one. Like, I like the yeah, idea the of Reed Richards being the <laughs> ultimate Doctor Doom. It's what Ultimate I could like. do. Ultimate's just fuck shit. There is no more. But all of a sudden, yeah, like, they, Fantastic Four, no they didn't go into any universe. of his tech. They just fucking teleported all the tech out. Like, all right, peace, motherfucker. And it's like, no, that was the only thing holding the whole place together. And then it collapsed. Yeah, it was cheesy. It wasn't a big epic battle. It just, yeah, that's what I wanted. I wanted them to fuck Reed Richards up. Well, he's, he's not dead. Of course he's not dead, but I wanted to see he's an gonna epic come, battle. He's going to come back for the marriage of Ben Grimm. Oh, and, and so Storm. Dude, what? Good fucking. They get married in the end of the movie. Yeah, no, they were in love at the end of it. Ooh. Wow, have Ben and Sue. Come on. Wow, she proposed to him. Yeah. She's she like, I love you, purple dick. Wow. I want some more. And she said, all right. <laughs> whoa, That's like whoa, fuchsia. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, Fuchsia. Like, Fuchsia? Ben Grimm is probably having that purple. He's an energy projector now. What the hell? The whole rock shit was a cocoon. Oh, yeah, so wait, he's just Yo, it's kind of cool. Wonder Man now? It's kind of cool, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. Man. it's not cool, it's not cool. It's not cool. As long as they don't call him Wonder Man, it's cool. No, it's not cool. No, Shut up. It's cool. No, no, no. Cool. I don't like, no, I don't like the ultimate universe. Yeah, no. fucking dip. It's two to two, man. We win. <laughs> Distracted. <him. Not. laughs> I liked it. I really did. I thought it ended suddenly, but overall, it was a good book. Yeah. Uh, I know y'all might disagree with me, but my book of the week... Who's the ultimate fighter? I right like this, but uh, I'm Bagley's like, back. That's all I give a fuck about. He's back for like two more issues. I don't give a <laughs> fuck. He's show. back. Oh, he's back to finish why he started, which is cool. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The cover, the that, inside. Full circle, full circle. Bagley full circle. is Iffy, back. You know, the only thing yeah. I didn't like. My absolute favorite Spider-Man artist. They made um, what's his name? Spoiler alert. And the return of. Oh. The Sinister Six, which is yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm always happy about the Sinister Six. Even even the picture when you first open it, you just see them. Yeah, yeah. That was, they all come out of the cells like, what the fuck? That was a perfect picture. The only thing is that uh, Doc Ock is too uh, normal looking. Yeah, his arms also look Ultimate really Doc Ock up. is like too rugged, I think. And I don't care for Vulture or yeah, Vulture. Why is like Vulture thirty and not ninety? Like, yeah, that was like that young. though. He he was like that in Ultimate Universe. He was a young dude. Like it's different. Though. It's the yeah. ultimate it's, universe. It's the ultimate universe. You can't tie in. I know, but then instead the of universe. making him 90, make him 65. I like yeah. that at the end. Like, he was trying to, like, help out Captain America and them, and Mary Jane's like, yo, 
Did you see what else yeah. is going on? Yeah. Like, they're going to kill so, your family. Yeah, now that you them. mentioned Captain America, that was one of my favorite parts of that issue. Oh, yeah. Captain yeah. America in the window, like, you'll yeah. turn around. Yeah. Yeah. Like, the is that who I think it is? If you think that's Captain America telling me to get on my horse? Yeah, that's yeah, it. And he's like, yo, put your right. uniform on and let's go to yeah. boot camp. So, so I, I'm very happy to see uh, Ultimate Spider-Man on a good track. I don't know how they're going to do with the death of it. I don't care. Bagley's back. Sinister Six. I'm good. I'm in a happy mood. I, I expect good shit. I can't ruin it for me. So, uh, Garfield. Garfield. Anthony Akins has a geek question for us, and uh, I like wrapping up the show with some geek questions. It's cool. Geekiness. Uh, what villain would you like to see get an upgrade, and what hero would you like to see truly dead? I don't know what villain. I want to pose this question to all y'all out there before we start with our answers. He said uh, So, Y'all. He's a pirate now. Facebook <laughs> us. Arr. 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 Hit us up, questions at peachbasement.com, and title it Alive and Dead. Let's go with Alive and Dead, right? We're not dead and alive. Dead and alive. All right, dead and alive. Oh, no, alive. or upgrade or die. Or dead E alive. Like Fucking Spanish question from the second That's it. Dead or alive. Title it whatever the fuck you please. Title it whatever the fuck you please. How about that? Okay, that works. <laughs> and just tell us what villain you want to see get an upgrade and what hero you want to see dead. I tell you right now, I want to see fucking Red Hulk dead. I don't like him. Is he a villain? What is he? I don't give a fuck. I want to see him dead. Yeah, but it said villain dead. Kill him. Kill him. No, villain upgrade. No, villain get an upgrade. Villain upgrade. Oh. So they, what, they don't count as heroes, but I want to say it anyways. Lois Lane, Aunt May, dead. Fuck you. You can't fuck. kill him. Yes, you can. Yes, no, you, can. you cannot. First of all, we killed Aunt May twice. We've already seen what it does to Spider-Man. She is an integral part of the Spider-Man mythos, just as Lois Lane and Alfred are integral parts of Superman and Batman. No, you can't kill no. him. Bite yeah. me. He wasn't always married to Lois Lane. But she was always there, bro. Fuck that, he's the other pussy. Bro, you could Those kill Lana Lang. Or he would go see him earlier. Bro. You could kill somebody like Lana Lang. Lana Lang's a fucking two bit corn fed hua. But that's Lois Lane can probably suck a fucking golf ball through three feet of garden hose. Yes. Or bullets mm -hmm. out of the chamber. <laughs> Yo, not for nothing. I, oh, I always like to see Doom in a new light. Like, give him some new armor yeah, and shit, yeah. whatever. That's I'm cool, cool with him. I love Doom 2099. Yeah. That was yeah, a lot yeah, armor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was fucking cool. Was He's a, you can get that armor in Marvel Capcom 3. Yeah. It's awesome. He's just not going out no more, are you? Nah, dude. I got no life anymore. I'm sitting playing Marvel Capcom. So there's no, no other villains that we would think to upgrade? None? I'm all the freaking combo villains? I don't, I don't know. know. I haven't man. put much thought into that. Like, yeah, you I know, never they thought about it. This might be a question we should yeah, carry over until next week. Let's take a week and think about it. I got to study. Fuck. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. they have done some good upgrades. They upgraded Calculator into something good. Cal that's true. Calculator got a really nice yeah, upgrade. It's like an evil yeah. oracle. He's a scientific calculator now. So is that. <laughs> really? Really? Okay, this is it. We're done. We're done. We're officially done. We're definitely done. <laughs> Sign. Once sign. we start making math jokes, if you get them, you have no friends. Uh, if you me, make them, let me not no even friends. get started on pie. Ooh. And mm, I'll make apple pie. or cherry. <laughs> cherry, <laughs> raspberry, good. blueberry. Let's go get some Peach? pie. I like coconut. coconut. I like coconut cream, cream pie. pie. Yeah. What's, What's up, everybody? everybody? Stop, Stop it. that. Stop it. Oh, sorry. Stop that. Stop it. Cut it out. Okay. <laughs> Thank you I'm for being so my friend. <laughs> Travel down, down the road, road and back, back again. again. There we go. This What's up? What? <laughs> <laughs> What's up, everybody? Stop that. You're supposed to say stop that. <laughs> Yo, I, I was telling Steve earlier that I like. Whoa. What happened there? Phones off! <laughs> that was silent. Yeah. Sorry, what did you say? Like, so like if like, we're all kind of talking at the same time. Don't look. Don't. Oh. <laughs> if we're all kind of talking at the same time, like 